chapter 9 it is uh, working with array and string let's start quick chapter summary first topic it is uh, array so array is a variable representing a collection of homogeneous type of elements right and arrays are useful to represent vector matrix and other multi dimensional data so what is vector vector it is the one dimension 1d data structure that can be used to store list of items like characters numbers and different others matrix it is used to represent the two dimensional 2d data structures like table of row and columns so when to create the array then it is creating array it is the two step process first one you have to declare an array object and second one it is create an array object and array objects can be created in two ways first one it is by using new operator and specifying the size of that array and second one it is directly initialize the concept of array after that what is in the 1d array array with the single dimension it is known as 1d array an example is vector instead of declaring individual variables like mark 1 2 3 4 5 you directly declare array as mark in square bracket you write 5 right so index position it start with the 0 right mark 0 mark 1 mark 2 mark 3 mark 4 right to declare one dimension array we use pair of square brackets and these are the examples and the syntax syntax is data type and write array name and the bracket right integer max in square bracket and semicolon to declare one dimension array you use data type that is integer max in square bracket is equal to new space integer 5 right so here you understand that this mac it is name of array okay and integer it is the data type it is you it's use four byte right storage space right so the array max require 5 by 4 it is 20 bytes in the continuous location in memory this is the one dimension example right the array variable max has an index value it start from 0 to 4 right and max 0 refers to the first element max 0 right it refers to the array index position 0 in that array contain is store 90 right and max 4 it is refers to the last element this is the max 4 and then array index it is the 4 and the value array contain is store 18 right so one dimension array it is initialized using comma separated values of the data element in the brackets right with the curly brackets the example is integer space max in square bracket is equal to use curly bracket 90 comma 60 70 65 and 80 right so this is the example of one dimension array let's start the second two dimension array so array with the two dimension two dimension it is known as 2d array 2d array are used to store tabular data in the form of rows and columns right example is given to store the five students marks in the three test we make use uh, a tabular arrangement of the max 5 rows and 3 columns right so 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 rows and 3 columns 1 2 and 3 then in the two time in the java 2d array can be declared by using array name and two pair of square brackets right two pair of square bracket is used to specify the size of the two dimensions rows and the column respectively right so this is the example integer space max 
2 2 square brackets is equal to new integer 5 by 3 right so here the logical value of the array element it is a table of 5 rows and 3 columns right so 5 by 3 means 15 integer values and integer stores the 4 bytes so 15 by 4 is equal to 60 bytes it is stored in the memory right and java does not support multi-dimensional arrays directly to create two dimension array we have to create an array of array right and in the max 5 by 3 it creates one dimension array objects of the five elements and each element is 1d array objects of the three integers right and this example is given right after that points to be remember it is the first array it is a collection of homogeneous type of data array elements can be accessed using the index for each element right each dimensions in the square bracket after that index value starts with the zero right and attributes length it is used to determine the size of the dimension after that string it is a nothing but a sequence of characters right string or the sequence of character it is enclosed between the double quotation mark right in the java characters are stored in the two bytes using the two bytes and java supports the two types of strings first one is string and the second one is string buffer next one it is determine the length of the string we use length method right so converting a string into the array of bytes by using get bytes option Okay, after that the string class methods, different types of screen class methods are used. The string class provides a method for the below task. First one is you can compare strings, comparing string, find length of string, right, combining strings, obtaining strings, substrings, converting the strings, splitting strings, and searching for character or the different patterns in string. After the date class, first date class it is uh, the object using the current system time after that long get time number of uh, mill, milliseconds since 1 January 1970 GMT green which green mean time third one it is uh, date with the long escape uh, time that it is specify the time in the milliseconds right elapsed the since the 1 January 1970 right so GMT means green which uh, mean time for string to string right representing the date and time right void set time it is set new date and time after that what is in the calendar class right so years of calendars month right date date of month hour hour of day minute and second it is used in the calendar class after that uh, AM, PM, day of week, week of month, week of year, and day of year. Right. So this date class or calendar class it will provide by using the Java util, Java dot util package. Right. And date class it encapsulate both date and time and represents the value using the milliseconds. Right. And calendar stores years, month, date, hour, minute, and second so this is the end of chapter number nine summary